morning to our viewers. Good morning to everybody here. Galamse has been an issue for years. And somewhat personally, let me go more on the personal line. I, we've been mining gold in Ghana for more than 400 years. I honestly do not see why our ancestors did not think it wise to go onto our rivers and our waters. But the current generation thinks that it is good to go on our rivers and our waters. Uh -huh. Taking our gold from our rivers and our waters did not start. It started like, like the past 20 years. And it's been an ongoing fight. And that's what I want us to underline. It is an ongoing fight. It is not a one-time one event. Then we have to look at who are those on the rivers. As for Galamse or people doing illegal mining outside the rivers, yes, it's a menace, but it's more manageable. Our current problem is those who have decided to go on our rivers. Personally, left to me, I believe that we should shoot everybody, shoot and kill anybody we see on our river mining. But unfortunately, that is my view, and we have laws, and we have... Um, we, we are ruled by laws. You cannot just get up and go shooting people. Mm. But, I mean, that's the extent to which we have all decided to pollute the environment. I saw the, the last video that you played about the woman complaining about the water. And then her complaint was that uh, the Chinese have taken over our rivers and they are mining. My first question is, who brought those Chinese there? As much as government should be on it, and government is on it, how did those people get in there? So all the actors in this whole matter, government, our chiefs, and then us as a people, and the people in the community, we should all be asking ourselves questions. As a government, since Nanado Dan Kwa took over uh, 2017, and what he came to meet in the Galamse and the, and, and the mining sector, it was total chaos. Total much, chaos. Much more than what we are seeing oh, yes. today. Those were the times when you were going to the western region, you get to the Ankuba River, right by the roadside, and you see chamfines on the river. And that is what informed all the military, the, the decision to send the military mm -hmm. out there to go clear the rivers. And the report that came, that even in the middle of the night, we have Ghanaians and foreigners sitting on our rivers and mining. I am mm. not saying that we've been able to clear everything. But definitely, when you look at what happened before we took over, this president has done everything and is still doing everything possible to make sure that we clear our waters. But we cannot do it alone. Government cannot do it alone. We need the, the input of everybody. Uh, TUC and organized neighbor are telling us that they, are, they, want, um, they want a declaration of what, 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 what were the ways? That, a state, a of, state emergency. of emergency mm -hmm. in areas where Galamse is going. My first question is Galamse has been around for 20 years. What has necessitated their. Because I, I wish I wish. I wish I could read their. I haven't read their statement yet. Uh, I mean, I but, 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 but Ellen, you don't need to but, read their statement. But it's I mean, got worse. The, and fact they say that that got, the fact that it's got worse. In the estimation, they think that it has gotten worse, so we should declare a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. Well, it's their opinion, but the government and our state apparatus and our security apparatus, I'm sure they'll look at it and see if we have to do it. But with them giving timelines and, 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 um, and ultimatums, well, uh, let's see how that goes. But I, I don't think that we have gotten to the stage where we need to declare mm. a state of emergency. Well, Ellen, uh, I know you have a lot of reactions to some of the things that we've heard so far. But while you're doing that, I, I want to find out from you, when you say that uh, you know, there are steps already being implemented and that they need to be enforced, who is supposed to be doing that? Is it not your government? Yes, and that's why the government is doing it. And minister says that they are going to it. Argument, argument it. it doesn't mean that government have stopped fighting Galamse. All this while that we haven't spoken about it. The last time we had such a conversation was about a year and a half, two years ago, when government, I mean, at the CSOs also brought it up. During all that time, government has been fighting it. And so it tells you the complexity and how diverse and, and 
so many issues are involved in the uh -huh. fight against that galamse. I mean, it's I mean not issues about, like what? Is it the case that the steps are not working because the situation has only got worse? It's got to the point where... The point where is, I keep on asking, it's gotten worse uh -huh. by, by, by what um, barometer? Well, because comparatively, uh -huh. when you check year on year, let's even start from 2015, when um, the, the, the then government led by the current flag bearer of the NDC, he set up an interministerial committee. He also did set up one. Mm -hmm. And in fact, at the end of the three years supposed fight that they were also supposed to have, they gave up. The minister went on Joy FM, gave up and said that he, he has lost the fight. Um, I think the minister was either Mr. Mahama Yariga or well, I'll have to check the name, but one of them gave up. So it should tell you that it has been a continuous thing that has been around. This government has not given up. Our Minister of Lands and Natural Resources have not come to tell all of us like that he has, he has given up. Because if the, 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 the sort of energy, the sort of money, the sort of um, force that has gone into even making sure that some of these people are even sent to court. The last time I checked, the Attorney General at the Bar Conference did mention, when I listened to him, uh -huh. that they have over 400 cases in court in relation to Galam Singh. I keep on saying that it is not just a one-man fight. It is not just a government fight. All of us are supposed to support the efforts of the government. There are over 480 people who are standing trials. But, see, some have but gone, perhaps that's the problem. Some have gone who to jail. Who are the people? Some, who, well, who I think we, we need the, the, the list of those people. The Attorney General no, can, can, already can, guess can that. provide us with, with them. We, we can uh, already let me, guess. Let me finish my point. No, let me, no, no, my let point. me ask a question while you're finishing that point. We can already guess that the over 800 people who have gone to court are the people at the bottom of the pyramid. You can guess. And that, absolutely. Because and, uh, and, and that the real people. Do you have their names? No, I'm saying. Of the people who are in court? No, no, Ellen, let me finish. I'm saying that we can guess that the over 800 people are the people at the bottom of the pyramid because even while they are in court, mm -hmm. Galamse is still going on confidently but and blatantly. Is going and, on... and we can compare that our water has got murkier over the years. I don't think so. Really? I don't have think you so. seen the prowl? I, I don't think the, the, the water has gotten murkier. I believe that, yes, people are mining mm -hmm. on the rivers. Let's agree on that. But when you tell me that the people who are in court, are the people who are the lower skill people? What are your facts? Because because, because you don't have, as ongoing, you said, because, you don't have the names. Because if we have, and then the, if we have is, the actual is, campaigns, is, no, no. Let me, let me let me finish. This is a crime, or the, the fight against Galamse is a perpetual fight. Mm -hmm. We have people who are always getting into it. And remember, these are not legal minors. They are not legal. The, the people who are actually doing this are people who do not have licenses. They haven't gone to get any uh, um, uh, concessions. They just get up one day, pick up their stuff, and they are in some, a, a certain place that they think there's gold, and they are picking gold. So when you tell me that the people in court are the lower people, how do you know? Because when we move one group, another group gets in. And that is why I'm saying that all of us should join in that fight. When this government has put people in jail for doing galamse, and you have somebody who wants to come into power who tells us that when I come, I'll release those people. Then what happens to the fight? So the question you should be asking us, because we are going for an election in less than 85 days. In about 85 days. Both political parties. What are you doing? What are your measures? Because definitely if government had given up on the fight like they did in 2015, 2016, by now I'm sure that all our waters would have been overrun. But you do I'm not saying that, that what is, in 2015, I'm not saying 2016, that, our river wasn't this bad. Who said it our wasn't rivers, this bad? Our river, so you can tell from the map. Who, you can who compare. said you, it you wasn't can, this you bad? You can just go online and it was. It was worse. Because it, it, we had the chamfines actually sitting on it. Now people are actually going there to mine in the night. I mean, on the rivers. Because they're not doing the day if they go. People and the police and the, 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 the whole team will be after them. Mm. So when you do tell me that it was better then, it wasn't any better. The point is that I believe that we have to work hard at it. But then you have to ask us, as political parties, what are your, what are your, your plans towards it? Because this is an ongoing fight. The MPP has said that when we come, we are going to continue with the fight. With what we have done, we are going to continue with it and put in measures to move these people who think that they have, and they are Ghanaians. Look, you cannot stop them, all of them, at once. We need to move them from the rivers to giving them properly 
I mean, constituted areas to mine. When Anthony Anaya says that we should cancel mining totally, we both know that that's not possible. Because we have large-scale miners who have contracts with this government. They have mining leases, some running into hundreds of years. And it's not that this government that gave them those contracts. So what do we do with those huge large-scale mining, legal, what do we do with them? Then we have the, the medium-scale miners who also have contracts. Then we have the small-scale miners who have also gone through the system and they have their contracts. Then we have the galamseers. The issue is with the galamseers and how we are going to deal with them. So when you say we should totally stop mining, who, is, who are we stopping? Are we stopping the big ones, the medium-scale ones? Or the mm. small ones. So, so why is so the government my, not my, going? I mean, the ruling party not going after uh, the people who have been identified within the government as allegedly who, engaged and who have in, you, in what government. Is the evidence? Again, we, again, we don't want to go back to uh, the Frimpong Manso report. We also Frimpong know that the Boateng, speaker, not Frimpong Boateng. Frimpong, Frimpong, Frimpong Boateng. Boateng. and then we also know that the speaker had said in Parliament about how. He was very certain that there were people... So, Speaker, should give us were, the names of the people in Parliament in, but, who are doing mining. But, but you, 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 have, you have the mandate to be able to... We do not enforce, have the mandate enforce, to, uh, to... Enforce some of these the things. The government does not have the mandate to know what is in people's minds or to know what Speaker is saying. So, the oh, no, Speaker... The, 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 the speaker I'm coming. The Speaker of Parliament says that people in his, his parliamentarians, he knows some of them that are doing the mining. Mm -hmm. He should bring their names and let's go after them. Did he bring any names? So that's what we are doing. We are throwing accusations. The same thing with the Professor uh, from Paul Boateng report. Mm -hmm. People's names were mentioned. The special prosecutor was on them. They mm -hmm. actually had to go through investigations. Right. The special prosecutor brought a report. None of these people were found liable. There was no evidence to show that they were in their mining. So if you do know of top government officials, and you mention Akunta Mining, Minerals Commission comes to tell us that they have, they have leases. They have they, correct they, mining. No, they, have, they have leases, but there was mm -hmm. one of the areas they were mining. So they I'm sure they, they, they had to go to the Minerals Commission to go and deal with that. But they, it is a legally constituted company, like <laughs> all other companies, that mine. Is there, so is, unless you say that because um, uh, Mr. Wun to me, being the chairman of the MPP in Ashanti region, and he, he was even mining when the NDC was in power. Chairman Wun Tibi didn't start mining in 2017. Is there, is there anything His company has been around for more than 10, 15 years. So I'm not saying that the company cannot do anything bad, no. But we should investigate it if they do something bad. But you do not go around saying that Chairman Wun Tibi is the one doing galamse. Is when there he has, anything, is there he has, anything he has wrong? Legal, legal, you, legal, legal, the legal grounds to do so. Is there, do you see anything wrong with the ruling parties, your party's handling of you know, the fight against Galamsey. Oh, yeah, there are lots of issues. Because you seem to be blaming well, everyone there, else there are lots of yourself. issues. There are lots of issues with, 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 with the fight. Okay. Just like any other fight. Just like any other situation in this country. You're going to get people who would definitely not comply. Mm -hmm. And then that's why there's the, the, there's, there's the law. And you go after those people. I but see. you also do not go after people without any evidence. I see. So the fact that my name has been mentioned that Ellen is supposed to be mining somewhere. Uh, Ellen is doing illegal mining. Let's put it but, that way. But you also and there's no proof that, that Ellen is do it, doing it, so given, I should be jailed for it. The MPP has not given any, the, you know, the public any confidence. NPP. Indeed. You haven't given the public any confidence in your ability to nip this in the bud. Despite all that How you are How are we going to nip doing, this in the what? bud? You, you nip something in the bud when it's it, just beginning. Indeed. This thing started how many indeed. years ago? I, I, so well, what are we nipping in the bud? No, it's no. a full-blown menace that we have to fight. You, so what have, are we nipping in the bud? You haven't given the Ghanaian people, the confidence that you, you have the capacity, the will, and the ability to well, be able to do this. I believe and, that. And we have so many examples. Right. But the, ND, the MPP continually appears to be in denial of the fact that you have failed the Ghanaian people on this. Well, the Ghanaian people gave a vote on, on 20, in 2020. And I believe that those who, who thought that we hadn't done well... It wasn't a referendum on the fight against no. Galamse. And there has not been a referendum on the fight against indeed, Galamse indeed. in any then, government's time. What we experienced So today. I will not agree Ellen, with you. Ellen, no, no, Ellen, no, 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 where do you live? Where I live? Where do you live? My water source is so com contaminated mm -hmm. that the Ghana Water Company could not give me water for weeks mm -hmm. because they say that the turbidity is too high for them. Mm -hmm. That is my lived experience.
So. And, and, and it is your party in office that promised the Ghanaian people, including me. And I'm telling that, you that, that my you party, fight, you my fight party has been and you, fighting Galamsey. You understand that. Anyway, my party has been fighting. No, no, you don't just move on like that. My party has been fighting Galamsey. Uh -huh. My government has been fighting Galamsey. But we have other people who say who had the opportunity to fight it. They didn't fight it. Now they said they are coming back into power. You have not asked them questions about what are they going to do to make sure that they are able to fight it this time. We'll and then there. you are on my party's business because for fighting, the party for, fighting for fighting the Galamsey and telling me that I have failed. When obviously I haven't because that's a situation I came to meet and I, I believe that this party has done better. This government has done far, far, far better. At least we haven't given up on the fight. We are still fighting it. Somebody threw up his hands in the air and gave up. We'll move the conversation across, Beatrice.